Marathon season has been kicking it into high gear, with weekend after weekend of running. There are more than 900 races scheduled across Canada for this year alone. Each one is different, depending on the distance you want to walk or run. 5 kilometers, 10, a half marathon at 21 kilometers, to as high as the X hour race that could take more than 24 hours to finish. But prior to the actual event, the marathon committees have to undergo a consultation process. In Toronto, Director of Transportation Services Kip Paraklaus says a special events committee comes together for a meeting with members from fire, police, EMS, TDC, and other divisions for a consultation process with the applicants. Once we've determined, based on the traffic management plan, um, that the application sort of meets the city's criteria by not permanently landlocking anybody during the entire event, but identifying key locations that are going to be of concern that require police at those specific locations. We come up with a plan and present that to whether it's the residence groups or the BIAs and the ward councillors to let them know what the traffic management plan is for that day. Residents who are affected by marathons happening in their area are also notified. Per Klaus says these preparations take at least a year ahead of the actual event. May, June, September and October are the peak months for our marathon season, but it could put runners in a position to pick one marathon or the other on a specific weekend. There, there are races that do take place. Unfortunately, some of them are in back-to-back weekends, which is something that the city is working on uh, to limit the number of races that can happen back-to-back. Two of the marathons conflicting now are the Toronto Marathon and the Mississauga Marathon happening on May 2nd. Canadian Marathons Limited President Alice Coffin says it's about the weekend that happens to be a great time for people to go to. I know that that's a real issue in the Toronto area, and it's it's tough because everybody wants to be in either the spring or they want to be in the fall. Like, no one wants to be in the middle of the summer um, because often you have to deal, you know, with hotter weather or just, um, you know, people are, are more oriented around their vacation plans. He says other races try to mimic the marathon style mindset, but even though there's so many marathons, it's all about the personal achievement. As a runner, I mean, it really helps, uh, I think, with anything, anything fitness-oriented. It's nice to have a, a goal, right? And what better goal than the marathon? I mean, it's um, no matter what your time, if you finish a marathon, you know, everybody's impressed that you've done that. These marathons typically happen in the early hours when traffic is lighter. However, people are not left without warning ahead of the actual event. Paraklaus says the City of Toronto puts out media releases urging people to take public transportation. The parallel routes to the route of the actual event. You know, we will increase the traffic signal timings. Um, we will limit so that there's no construction activity on the main arterials. Uh, we do everything we can to ensure that the detour routes are kept free and clear. Despite the traffic congestion, the marathons are something you tell your kids about someday. If you're a runner looking to participate in a marathon this year, Coffin says taking part in these events needs a lot of preparation. You know, a lot of people who train for the marathon, this is a big change in their lives. So they, they need to take a lot longer, for sure, because, you know, really they have to, um, to, to get that basic running fitness first so that they don't get hurt doing the training. Because it's, um, especially when you get into the longer runs, uh, I think a lot of people get hurt at the end of those long runs. The next marathon to hit the streets is the Toronto Young Street 10K on the 19th. Donna Sevilla, Radio Humber News.